Hi, okay, so let's do a gear or cogwheel and this is what we're aiming for. So let's start out by selecting the cube and let's delete it. And then we can go to edit, preferences, add-ons and search for extra and check extra objects. Let's close this. Let's press shift A, mesh and gears. And here we can just choose the gear and I just go with the default one, but you can also change a lot of stuff with this one uh, but let's select it enter edit mode let's press ctrl r add a loop cut here and then we can look upon it from the side let's press alt z x-ray view select the bottom ones press x vertices and delete them and then we can add a modifier i want a mirror modifier we said like that great so let's add the center piece of this cog so let's press e s drag it like that g z drag it down a little bit e s do it there e s e s e s g z e s E Z E S and let's uh, check clipping and E Z and let's go down. Okay, great. So we have the cog like this. Perfect. But now I want to add uh, holes in the center. So let's press tab again. So let's press C and we want to select four and leave two. So let's choose the size of the tool and select these fours. D2, these four, D2. Like that, great. So then we press I to inset and drag it down a little bit like that. And then press E and Z, Z. And then we can press X, delete faces. Great. And now we can right click and set the shade smooth by angle and we can change this if we want to but right now i want to add a subsurface modifier and i actually want to bump it up all the way to three and then we can press tab we can select this let's press two to get to the edge select and we can take select sharp edges and now when all the edges are selected we can press shift e and we can decide how sharp they should be i just think this is an easy way to do this something like that and i want this ring to be really sharp and also this ring that were invisible to be really sharp like that great and i actually think i should take this ring and press ctrl b to get a little bevel and the same here yeah but what i also want to do is to uh, add some imperfection because i think that will really sell this wheel so if you just add some loop cuts to start out with uh, so let's press ctrl r you can add two over here and two over here great and now we let's press one and just select some and I just select some random vertices because sometimes it's nice to have some real bumps and not only in the material something like that and just G Z drag it down a little bit I can look upon it let's give it a better material I can just press new and full metallic a little more reflective you can see the bumps really add something to this cog uh, so let's just continue to add imperfections where you think you should have them and don't be don't be shy imperfection is what's really sell something great so this is a really quick way to make a cog and then you just add some material that you like and i like my gears and cogs really rusty like this steampunk look okay 
So that's how we make a gear or cogwheel or we call it. So thanks for watching. And if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.